Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss circular permutations. Till now, we have discussed arrangement of objects in a row. For example, if we arrange five numbers, that is one, two, three, four, five, the two of the arrangements. One, two, three, four, five, and five, one, two, three, four are two different arrangements in a row. And this type of permutations is known as linear permutations. But if these arrangements are written along a closed curve, That is a circle. Then the above two discussed arrangements are same. Such type of permutations is called circular permutations. We can say that circular arrangements are different only when The relative order of the objects is changed otherwise they are same as the number of circular permutation depends on the relative position of the objects. Therefore, here we consider one object as fixed and the remaining objects are arranged as in case of linear arrangements for example if we have to arrange n different objects in a circular way then we fix the position of one object and then arrange the remaining n minus 1 objects in all possible ways and this can be done in n minus 1 factorial ways let a1 a2 up to an be n distinct objects and one of the ways in which they can form a ring is shown. The figure shows one of the ways in which n distinct objects can be arranged. Now, starting with different letters and considering them in clockwise direction, 
the various arrangement of these objects will be obtained as a1 a2 up to an minus 1 an now starting with a2 we have a2 a3 up to an minus 1 an then a1 starting with a3 we have a3 a4 up to an minus 1 an a1 a2 now starting with a4 we have a4 a5 up to an minus 1 then an a1 a2 a3 now proceeding in the same manner lastly we get starting with an a1 a2 up to an minus 1 clearly this circular permutation provides n linear permutations hence if the required number of circular arrangements of the n objects dx and one circular permutation provides n linear permutations therefore the total number of linear permutations will be x into n that is xn we also know that the total number of linear arrangements of n distinct objects is given by n factorial therefore we have xn is equal to n factorial which implies that x is equal to n factorial by n that is equal to n factorial can be written as n into n minus 1 factorial upon n which is equal to n minus 1 factorial therefore the number of ways in which n objects can form a ring is given by n minus 1 factorial in the above discussion we have considered anti clockwise and clockwise order arrangements as distinct but in actual practice we have two types of circular permutations one where counter clockwise and clockwise arrangements are distinguishable for example seating persons around the circular table this is the clockwise arrangement of objects and this is the anti clockwise arrangement of objects here we can see that the clockwise and anti clockwise arrangements 
are distinguishable and second is their counter clockwise and clockwise arrangements are not distinguishable for example arrangement of beat in the necklace now if we arrange the object in this clockwise and anti clockwise manner then their arrangements would be same that is not distinguishable now we shall discuss some important points in circular permutations first we have number of circular arrangements of n different things are n minus 1 factorial when clockwise and anti clockwise arrangements are not different then the number of circular arrangements of n different things are given by 1 by 2 into n minus 1 factorial next we have number of circular arrangements of n different things taken r at a time when clockwise and anti clockwise arrangements are taken as different is given by npr by r or can also be written as ncr into r minus 1 factorial that is ways of selecting r elements from n and arranging them in a circular permutation next we have number of circular arrangements of n different things taken r at a time when clockwise and anti clockwise arrangements are not different is given by npr upon 2r or can also be written as ncr into r minus 1 factorial by 2 that is ways of selecting r elements from n and arranging them in a circular permutation when clockwise and anti clockwise arrangements are not different for example 
the number of ways in which 20 different beads can be arranged to form a necklace is given by n minus 1 factorial by 2 as we know that when clockwise and anti-clockwise arrangements are not different the number of circular arrangements of n different things are 1 by 2 into n minus 1 factorial in the arrangement of beads the clockwise and anti-clockwise arrangements are not different therefore it is given by n minus 1 factorial by 2 and the value of n is 20 so we have 20 minus 1 factorial by 2 which is equal to 1 by 2 into 19 factorial now we shall find out number of circular arrangements of 20 different beads taken 15 at a time which is given by NPR upon 2 into R since we know that number of circular arrangements of n different things taken R at a time when clockwise and anti-clockwise arrangements are not different is given by NPR upon 2R here the value of n is given by 20 and R is equal to 15 Therefore, we have 20p15 upon 2 into 15 which is equal to 20 factorial upon 20 minus 15 factorial whole upon 2 into 15 which is equal to 20 factorial upon 20 minus 15 factorial that is 5 factorial into 2 into 15 now 20 factorial can be written as 20 into 19 into 18 into 17 into 16 into 15 into 14 factorial upon 5 factorial can be written as 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 into 2 into 15 which is equal to 19 into 3 into 17 into 8 into 14 factorial which is equal to 7752 into 14 factorial hence the number of circular arrangements of twenty different beads taken fifteen at a time is given by 7752 into 14 factorial which is the required answer this completes our session hope you enjoyed this session